perfect little campsite. I'm taking my tent down. Bench, little fire, and nobody came to claim the sleeping bag and the uh, pot that's in the uh, fireplace. So that's good. Maybe they'll come later and pick up their trash. Heading out. I got out before 7 o'clock. It was a little bit, I think, 6.45. Trying to get to my hostel pretty early because that gives me time to get every, all my electronics charged, get food, get a shower, get into town to do my resupply. It takes a long time, so on your days off, there's supposed to be rest days, you're not really resting, but you don't walk quite as far. You still end up walking a good distance because you usually get like dropped off in town and you walk from a restaurant to the store to maybe another store. I also want to go to the outfitter and see what they have. First one out of camp gets the spider webs. <laughs> There was only one other tent in camp, and they were there when I got there, and they were still there when I left. I said hi as I walked by when I got there, but they didn't answer, so I think they probably were already asleep or listening to headphones or something like that. Nice campground, though. I have about five miles to go, I think 4.8, to get to the road crossing where I'll get picked up. That is if I get service, because supposedly service is bad. There was supposed to be service at the campsite, apparently not for AT&T, because I did not have any. And they said there's not really much service in between their, their pickup point and here. I am climbing a mountain or today, so I'm hoping from the top of that mountain maybe I'll have some AT&T service. But I've got my phone on, hoping that at some point it will ding and let me know I have some service. So that I can get a ride, because it would be a long ways to walk to where they their house is. And I don't want to walk four extra miles or however long. <laughs> I walk enough. I don't want to do any extras. This is a beautiful little area, though. And we're not too far from town. I kind of get the feeling that we're... You hear dogs barking sometimes and stuff. So we're just kind of in these little swaths of woods near houses and near town. See that little rabbit? It was running down the trail toward me and all of a sudden spotted me and now it's running back down the trail. <laughs> Bye! Still on the trail. She's hiking the trail. <laughs> it's a rhinoceros. And I'm not the only one who thinks so. Look at the sign. <laughs> I can still smell smoke, just a little, not a lot. And I woke up coughing this morning. So I, I, I think it's more the plants. I'm allergic to a lot of plants and stuff. So I cough anyway sometimes in the morning out here on the trail. So I think it's just all the pollen and more than the smoke because the smoke never seemed very strong yesterday even. And it's much clearer today even though the smell is about the same. But it doesn't look foggy this morning like it did yesterday. So I think 
the worst of the smoke from the Canadian wildfires is gone now. Oh my gosh, I just saw a weasel. It was so cute. I couldn't get my camera out quick enough. They move really fast, but a rabbit came racing out of the bushes and ran down the trail in front of me. And then I heard something else in the bushes. I thought maybe it was another rabbit. I kind of looked and right then, I th what I thought was a chipmunk, a long chipmunk, ran out of the bushes after the rabbit. And then it saw me and stopped and kind of was trying to decide what to do. And I realized it was a weasel, a little tiny weasel that was, I mean, probably chipmunk size almost, only longer. And it was brown, it was so cute. And then it took off after the rabbit down the trail. Well, a second later, the rabbit turned around came flying back down the trail and ran between my legs to get away from the weasel. The weasel did not come back, but I saved rabbit's life today. And it was a tiny little bunny too. It wasn't even very big. And the weasel was so much smaller than the rabbit. It was just so cool. <laughs> I'm hoping that the weasel maybe hops up, comes back out of the bushes, but I doubt it. It was so cute. I cannot believe I saw a weasel in the wild. That is the coolest thing I've seen on this trail. That's probably even cooler than a bear. Yeah, it is cooler than a bear because people see bear a lot, even though I haven't. But how many people see weasels on the trail? I just wish I could have got a picture of him or a video of him. That would have been so cool. But it was very quick and very surprising because they came out right at my feet. I still can't believe I saw a weasel. <laughs> I love weasels. I had ferrets. I've had three ferrets, pet ferrets. And one of my favorite books as a kid was Mara the Alaskan Weasel. I loved that book. So anyway, I love weasels. And it was the coolest thing to see one. However, it was so tiny. I had no idea that they were that tiny. Yeah, I thought they were more, I knew they were smaller than ferrets, but I just thought they'd be a little closer to like a small ferret, but it was just so small. It was more like a long, thin chipmunk, <laughs> not even squirrel sized. See the trail running up <laughs> way up there. Heading back into the woods from our little field walk. It's just beautiful. It's still a little hazy from the smoke, 
but it's hazy here anyway usually so it's hard to tell what is the normal haze and what's the smoke although I can still smell the smoke so I'm... this is our mountain it's a small one but it is very steep A little bit better now. This grass is over my head. <laughs> it's kind of cool walking through it. Back out of the forest now and coming down the hill instead of up. I think I'm about a mile away from the meetup point where the hostel will pick me up. Look. There's a seed out here it's in the middle of this field. I bet there's a view out here at some times if the grass is mowed down. I see that there's a mountain over there. Coming out at VA 55 John Marshall Highway and I am going to Wonderland Hiker Refuge. So waiting on my ride here. 